If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know this channel is all about learning. And I don't mean it's about you learning from me, no. I mean it's all about you watching me learn and get stuff wrong and fix it and moan about how it doesn't work. Hopefully you're okay with that. Anyway, the reason I mention it is because, once again, I set up the cloud management gateway wrong last time I tried. So the CMG, it, well, if you want to know what it is, check out my other video after this one, so you get the, get the lowdown. So what did I do wrong? Well, nothing. If you read the documentation back when I did that video, but as always, the documentation changes and it's updated, and, and now they warn against what I did. So I set up the CMG using the default service name rather than the name that you would use for a custom domain, for example. I should have used getmodern.co.uk, but I used cloudapp.net or eastus.azure.com uh, or, or whatever it is. So as Jason Sandys and Paul Winstanley pointed out on Twitter, creating a certificate so that your computers trust a site that you don't own is generally a bad idea. Uh, it also means that I wasn't able to convert the CMG when it came to swapping from the classic to the VM skill set. So in this video, I want to show you how to create a VM skill set CMG the correct way with a custom domain. So there are two elements to this. I need to do stuff in the config manager portal, and I also need to create a CNAME in DNS. So we'll do the config manager portal first, and then we'll jump over to the DNS. So as you can see, I've got a few cloud management gateways already. For the purposes of this video, imagine they're not there. I'm going to create all of this stuff from scratch so that you can see how it works and see how it how it happens and why I do it. Um, there is one thing that I will not do again though. I've already created a, a, a certificate template that I want to use for creating these certificates. So I'm not going to do that from scratch, but I will show you what it looks like right now so that you can copy it. So head over to my uh, domain controller, which happens to be my um, certificate authority and then we've got this uh, CA here. Now I'm going to go into templates and I'm going to go into manage and just show you the templates that I've got and what they look like so that you can create them. I just don't want to do it again. So we have this um, this template here called CMG Server Authentication Certificate and it's a, it's a copy of... Uh, what is it a copy of? It's a copy of one... I'm not sure, I think it might have been the web server cert. So yeah, it's it's just I've I've created this name here. It's valid for two years and renewal period is six weeks. So it's served two thousand and three, and this is what the request handling looks like. This is cryptography. Not doing key attestation. These are all. Uh, these two are are empty. Um, subject name is applying the request, and we'll show you why later on. Issuance is just default, but in security. We are allowing our config manager server to do read and enroll. That's important because I want to be able to enroll it from my config manager server. So that's all you need to do. You create this certificate template by duplicating an existing template. And then uh, you close the certificate templates console and right click new certificate template to issue and issue the template that you want to issue. And it just appears in this certificate template list here. It's this one here. There it is. And that's all you need to do. And so then you go over to the server that you want to create that certificate on. And that would be my config manager server, which is this one here. So from here, you go into the search snap in uh, here, and then you would request that cert. Now, obviously, this computer isn't the one that I want to be using the cert on, but it's the one that I'm using to generate that cert. So there it is, CMG Server Authentication Certificate. And it says more information is required to enroll this cert because that's what we said. We said supply in request. So, and so this is where we would choose the, the common name and potentially the DNS name for this certificate. Now, the issue is I know it's going to be something like GMCMG0003, but I don't know what the remainder of that name will be yet because I haven't started creating that in uh in the cmg snap in so let's take a look at how we do that so let's assume for example it's going to be uksouth.cloudapp.azure.com yeah but how do we find that out we go into create cloud management gateway and we're going to use the vm skill set because it's default i'll just quickly sign in to this as my global admin
and the next button is just hidden under there just hidden under there and we'll just tap down to it and press enter uh, and you can see we've got this deployment name so I want to change the uh, the region to um, let's go with uh, UK West just so it looks a little bit different so it's UK West cloud app .com. now what I would normally do in my previous video is use this as the deployment name because it's there by default right well that is the, that is always going to be the deployment name I would use this as the service name so I would use that up here in the service name and you you choose the service name by specifying the name in the certificate so this is where I've always gone wrong in the past so I know that this subject name the common name for this certificate and the service that's going to be using it is actually gmcmg 003getmodern .co.uk if I can type and the DNS is going to be the same and now at this stage I can create that without knowing anything about the server that I'm going to create this on so that's that makes it a lot easier so I'm going to do same request this cert and enroll and there it is enrolling and it's succeeded so all we need to do now is find the 0003 there he is so we'll right click all tasks and export and then we'll export the private key as well and give it a little password so we can import that later on and then we'll just export it to the C drive for, for this okay so it's exported now all we need to do is just import it so we're back into this cloud management gateway wizard browse for it and scroll down to 03 and open and type in the password okay so you can see what it's done is it's chosen the service name based on that certificate that I used and the deployment name is gmcmg 0003.ukwest.cloudapp.azure.com and so that is essentially what I need to know for the next step but for now I'm going to make a note of that so it's gmcmg 0003.ukwest.cloudapp.azure.com okay so we're going to keep this as UK West because I've just chosen it and I'm going to use an existing uh, resource group no you know what I'll change the resource group because I'm doing this from scratch so this is uh, UK West CMG. I'm going to go with the lab version of this so I don't cost myself too much money for this demo. I'm going to turn off certification for this because I want it to actually work and I haven't set up certs yet. Uh, and then certificates. I need to choose the root cert for my domain so that it trusts it because I'm not using an external third party so it's not globally trusted. So I just need to export, import my root certificate. I might as well show you how I get that root certificate actually at Spurrier. A, a common thing that you might need to do you can see in the local certificate local computer certificate store there's a trusted root cert authorities store and then here I can choose certificates and there will be one that references my domain so this is DC1 uh, so this is my domain name and this is the computer name hosting this is CA so you would just right click and export this by uh, just choosing next and then giving it a file name we're not exporting the private key there it's just the public key so we don't need to choose a, cert, uh, a certificate password so anyway you get to the point where you're you're able to import it just there without using a password nice and simple so at the bottom there we've got allow cmg to function as a cloud dp and serve content you know that's that's fairly fairly useful so we'll go with that i'll just press next thresholds are all about protecting the you know the the, the amount of data that you're sending um, and so it's a cost management thing really so it'll turn off if you've exceeded the amount of data because it does cost for egress within Azure I'll just choose next and it'll go away and do this here so what I want to do is just just grab this name and it's in UK West so we'll just choose next and get that creating for us looks like it's asking me to sign in again all done so we'll just choose close Okay, so while that's provisioning, the next step is to 
create the CNAME in DNS so that when my computers reach out to uh, gmcmg03 dot uh, getmodern.co.uk they know where to go because getmodern.co.uk doesn't host anything related to the CMG it's all on the, the Azure platform so we need to just send them off there to get that data and to start that communication so that's what we're going to do now we're going to head over to my uh, to my domain provider and uh, we'll take a look so that is, uh, in my case, it's one on one, which is this. And you can see I'm just on the DNS page right now. So it's just a case of choosing add record. And we're going to choose a CNAME. And the host name is going to be GMCMG0003. And that points to the equivalent in, uh, in Azure, which is gmcmg0003.ukwest.cloudapp.azure.com. I'm going to give this a short time to live, but in production you, you want this to be a pretty higher, 60 minutes perhaps, but I'm just testing, so we'll give it five. And we'll click save. It won't take long for that to, to happen, so we'll give that just a few minutes while the service provisions. Back over to my config manager server. You can see this VM skill set in UK West is provisioning so we'll give this a little while to provision and uh, for the dns to replicate and all that kind of stuff and we'll come back to it in a few minutes time all right so we've given that about 25 30 minutes now and it says it used to say provisioning now it says ready so we are good to go or at least we we almost were so if we just take a look at this we've got the cmg service name here which is good we've got the cloud service name that's good it's in the vm skill set we've got the region we're going to jump down to connection points. Click on that and you can see we've got no connection points. So every CMG requires a management point in order to do, you know, proxying between the site database and the, the CMG server itself. So we need to do that. We go into servers and site system roles, choose our management point. This is my internal management point here. Forget about all these additional CMGs that we've got apart from the one I've just created. They're all, uh, pretend they don't exist. So we've got this management point. This is the cloud management gateway connection point. I'm going to right click on that and choose properties. And I need to change this uh, CMG because this is the old one. I want to change that to the new one, which is CMG03. You can see it's in the region uh, UK West. And we will choose OK and give that a few minutes. We do need to kick that off in the cloud management gateway though to um, to change that up. So we've just added the connection point there. As you can see, it says connected. Well, you know, I was going to say we need to, to synchronize configuration and wait a few minutes, but just for the purposes of testing and being transparent, let's just choose connection analyzer. I'm going to sign in as Lucy Tester. And just to be clear, the reason I'm signing in as Lucy Tester rather than Dean here is because Dean is a, an on-prem account that is not synchronized to Azure. It's my, um, it's my um, domain admin. Hmm. So the reason I'm, I'm signing in as Dean here rather than Lucy is because uh, Dean is, is my admin account. I don't have Intune licenses on this. I've got global admin, it's got 2FA. Um, it's not used for anything else other than admining stuff and uh, Lucy is a user and obviously users are going to be the, the people that are going to be using this not my admin account so we want to test with the user because you need an Intune license you need you need to be in the right OU and all that kind of stuff to get this working so we're going to choose Lucy here as a test so signed in successfully that's good so we're just going to choose start and see all the green ticks appear one by one Not quite gone as well as it could have. Um, check connection status of CMG connection points and it's saying that it might not be functional. Uh, okay, yeah, let's close that. And I want to synchronize that configuration like I thought I would need to because we're just going to cho choose synchronize. It disconnects that and hopefully will reattach it for us in a few moments. Okay, so it's switched to ready 
and you can see the connection point is connected. Let's just try that connection analyzer again. Sign in as Lucy Tester. Just choose start. Straight through all the greens there. And then at the end, testing the CMG channel for management points. This one here that I've just added. Yep, that's it. That's pretty much all we needed. Okay, so that, that is working now. We've tested it with the connection analyzer. I'm comfortable that that's working now. Hopefully, this will be the last video that I create about the CMG, or at least about setting up the CMG with a VM scale set, because it's been three or four so far. Hopefully it's helped. I'll try to be really clear with this one, with how you do it. Give me some feedback, hit the like button. See you next time.